Welcome aboard. We're about to show you through the Axapar 29 Cross Cabin. This is the latest model straight from the factory of Axapar, and this bottle has all the bells and whistles, including the big 400 horsepower outboard. So let's go through, give it a good look, and point out all the key highlights and points of difference. We recently did a performance review on the Suntop model, so if you're more interested in the performance, check out that video, but this is gonna be of the Cross Cabin here. Straight away, you'll see we have the big 400 horsepower, the new V10 Mercury outboard. This is gonna power this boat just short of 50 knots. And whether you're gonna be driving at 22 knots or 32 knots, the fuel consumption is very, very similar. Being the aft cabin model, we have an absolutely large bed below here. On top, we have a great sun lounge for daytime use. And what's even more impressive, is with a simple push of the button, we look straight into this cabin, which is gonna give huge ventilation. This will work perfectly as a storage locker to put all your water sport needs in. While this boat doesn't have it, you can get a nice rod holder, rocket launcher set up here to house all your fishing rods. Axapar, always looking forward and trying to strive to the next adventure. You'll see on the port side, you open up this fender locker with a nice easy latch system and straight away we have a little sink with a stainless faucet and another refrigeration unit. And then this will also double as a chopping board. As usual with any adventure boat, we also have to have a shower for jumping out of the water. The ladder is discreetly positioned underneath the swim platform and you could also opt for a larger handle, more comfort handle swimming ladder that will come onto the port side. Smartly integrated into the cushions here, we have cup holders and a nice comfortable backrest, which is very ergonomic. And when sitting here, we're out of the sun, but we've also got hand grips if you're underway, but a very comfortable place to relax and enjoy a nice leisurely cruise. Now, as we make our way up the sides, you can see just the innovation from the 28 to the 29. We have a little bit more beam to play with, which is quite comfortable, and a much larger door to get into the main cabin space. As we step down into here, we have one half step, and then another step further down, which makes getting in and out of here quite easy. The ergonomics of the helm of the 29 is outstanding. We've taken a lot of small detail from the 28 and just enhanced this boat to make it even that next step better. Traditionally with the 28, we have the same sort of helm seat, but right now we have a great footrest here, very comfortable, somewhere to give you uh, added support when you're underway and brace yourself on those choppier conditions. This boat being the Brabus trim line, has the Brabus insignia on the wheel and the seats, just like previous, except they're using a new material. It's actually quite comfortable. We still have our twin 12 inch Simrad screens, but just the ergonomics and the layout is just that next level more modern. The dash, everything's just an upgrade to look quite sporty and uh, suit this superb boat. Below the helm, we still have somewhere to throw your phone, keys, and any little knickknacks. And one also on the driver's side. And under the helm here, another pocket where you can throw any of your charts, books, and belongings, things like that. Staying in line with all the Axapar features, the helm and dash is quite minimalistic. The buttons between nav lights, horn, and of course your windshield wipers are all at fingertips. And for nighttime navigation, you can see they illuminate to stand out. Also backlit, which makes it very easy to find. New with all the Axapar range, we've got transition from Fusion. Now we have a great JL audio system. This is the upgraded system, which is gonna have the extra speakers, subwoofer, and the amplifier. This boat's optioned with the electric roof, which is lovely. The feature I love most about the electric roof is when you're underway on a nice cool day, you can just have this cracked, still have great airflow 
the roof stays sturdy right there and everyone is climate controlled. Life needs to be simple, so turning on the batteries of this boat is simple as pressing a button just below the helm, so we've got no more climbing into the rear to get to the battery switches. The 29, some of the great features and improvements is the ergonomics. So as we walk around this helm area, we don't have any steps on the port side. So it's a straight one level all the way through, and now we're straight into the rear seating area. Carrying on from the Axpar 28, we have underneath the co-pilot seat, we have a refrigeration unit, but this is even larger than the 28 and almost double the size. I would suggest it's about as deep as my arm, which is allowing plenty of room for drinks and cold goods, and then under the driver's seat, a sink. Always improving their models, this 29 doesn't disappoint. Gaining access into the rear cabin is really simple with as simple as lifting the backrest, lifting the seat and pinning it back. How simple is that? And now we have straight access into the rear cabin, which is quite large. Definitely very comfortable for two people, but they've also made a nice infill. So you have some underfloor storage here, great for life jackets and things, but simply hide it like that. And now we have a nice double bed. A few little other features here. You've got some ventilation on the side, really discreet. You wouldn't know it unless you were down here looking at it. And of course, lighting, just an arm's reach away. Who wouldn't want to wake up in a bed like this with a panoramic window looking straight out to the ocean? This is great. It's large and very comfortable. And if you don't care to use this as a bed and just as a pure storage area, simply open that up. And now we're back outside to the aft deck and we can easily load or unload your belongings. As we make our way to the bow area, you feel a small incline up, which is allowing for space for the accommodation below. But for walking around and on a safety level, we have inbuilt handrails into the roof and of course handrails all the way around the boat. What would any adventure boat be without roof racks? And the 29 has them here. Straight away we go down to the bow cabin. Now this can be in several configurations. If you don't care to have a cabin and bedding down here, this can be a great storage area, but it's also the toilet. As we take a step down, we've got a gradual one, two, three steps down. Now discreetly positioned underneath the cushion is an electric toilet, fresh water flush, and plenty of room here to use it. Utilizing the maximum amount of room on this boat, Axapar has discreetly hidden a sink behind the backrest with a stainless faucet. Tuck it away and we're good to go. Over to the port side, nice and neat. We have all the fuses, we have the macerator switch, water pump, everything is easy, well marked and nice and simple, which every boat should be. Now to turn this into a bed is quite simple. So there's our steps. And there's our cushion. You can either lay across the boat or fore and aft, whichever you wish, but there's plenty of room. It's probably wider than the rear cabin. This is easy to uh, have a night's sleep here. So now you can properly have four people comfortably sleeping on the Axapar 29, which is the perfect family boat. Stepping straight out of our forward cabin, we're greeted by a lovely little dining area up on the bow, triangular shaped table. Now this layout is the U-shaped bow sofa. You can have it as an L, or a U. This is where this boat gets quite interesting. So right now this is in the table position, which is perfect for dining and sitting here with a couple of little adjustments, which is as simple as one, two, and three. We now have a table that's positioned further back. So when sitting on this seat here, we have the table right in front of us, allowing more space for seating up here, should you wish. All right, so that's the second stage of this bow area. Let's go to the third. So currently, we have our long legs there. We are gonna switch it out. Now we have our short legs. Stick them into the little holder like this. We put our table on in the low section and we get our cushion infill. Has little press studs to secure this. And now we have a bow lounge. So you complement this bow lounge with some Euro warning up here. You can have a sun lounging area in the sun or in the shade. It's nice and simple, it takes two minutes. If you do want a forward face and have the extra leg room, we can just bring the table back one and we've now got a full sun lounge with a backrest, but whichever comfort suits you, you choose. With the 29, we have an easy clip system, which makes life so much easier. 
Now we put away our little short legs into the clips. And just like that, we're packed away and ready to go. For storage up here on the bow, as you saw, we have quite a large locker here. We also have under storage there, great for shoes and things like that, or towels. Also, up in the bow, we have another quite large locker area. This is where your shore power plugs into. You've got your immediate 240 volt breakers up here as well. And then the next step forward is we have our anchor locker. Now the smart people at Axapar, they incorporated a cup holder. That's where our little latch is for the anchor locker. Lift it up here, and we're straight away, we've got our windlass, storage for lines and fenders, and uh, for the chain for the anchor. How simple is that? As we wrap up this video, I just want to point out the Lintex upholstery this boat has. It has the great adventure collection insignia of all the uh, heat press lines. It's a great, nice option for this boat. Plus, you can also have four options in the silver text color scheme. But how perfect is this for any day out on the water? I hope you liked this video of the Axapar 29 Cross Cabin. I'm Rowan from Eyots. Like and subscribe.